This is Medic 22. How do you copy? This is ER 2020. Go ahead. We're going to be coming to you emergent with a 33-year-old male gunshot wound to the abdomen, right lower quadrant, and the right side chest. That is a trauma activation, trauma bay on arrival. When you hear an EMS encode like that, your first thought should be like, oh crap. The charge nurse is going to activate it as a trauma. And what that means is that it's going to have the right people come that need to be there. In a trauma activation, OR will be present, lab, radiology, health supervisor, trauma nurse practitioner, the trauma surgeon, and then you have the ER staff as well, which will be the ED physician. You're going to have three nurses, one scribe, which is the, documenter, the documentation nurse, one's going to boss, which is the primary nurse, and then a secondary. And that, that nurse is going to fill in wherever necessary. You're also going to have an ED tech as well. With this encode, you know that the patient has a, wound, uh, a GSW or gunshot wound to the right side of the chest and the right side abdomen. It could go downhill very fast. So you need to be prepared for anything. You want to have two large bore IVs on a patient this critical. You also want to have a chest tube close by. Another thing that you want to have is suction. Make sure that respiratory is present before the patient gets there because they may need to intubate. And intubation is basically going to hold the patient's airway if they are unable to hold it for themselves. Another thing that would be good to have readily available before the patient before the patient gets there is the Belmont. The Belmont is basically it's a rapid transfuser transfuser. It's a rapid transfuser, and we use it for MTP protocol, which is the massive transfusion protocol. Meaning, if somebody's losing a lot of fluid, a lot of blood, very rapidly, this machine will pump a thousand milliliters of blood or fluids and warm them a thousand milliliters per minute by the time the patient gets there everybody should know what their what their plan of care is and the first thing you do when the patient arrives is you do your across the room assessment so after you're assessing the airway you obviously see that there's no um, no obstructions no loose teeth nothing that they can choke on now you go on to breathing you auscultate the breath down and you listen to the left side and it's clear in all forms the patient is disgruntled saying that they really are having a hard time breathing the next thing you really want to start thinking of is attention pneumo basically what that means is there's air seeping out into out of the lung and seeping into the pleural cavity uh, which is pushing and increasing a lot of pressure in the chest wall so the treatment for attention pneumo is needle decompression usually the doctor does this to help relieve some of that air out of the chest and so now you can hear bilateral breath sounds it's essential to follow the same protocol no matter what because you don't want to miss anything I decided to make a series and what I'm actually going to be doing is this video covered the airway and breathing next week we will talk about circulation and disability you have to be able to have a focused head and, and understand that there's a system in place for a reason because it saves lives stay tuned for next week we will go over circulation and disability for until next time don't forget to like subscribe and i hope you enjoy this series bye